Special Agent Fox Mulder here. And we're down at the Blue Scope Yard, waiting for the uh, Blue Scope train, the steel coil train, to come from Melbourne and head towards here, to this point. We're at the Y, it uh, takes the steel coils off the train and heads up to the manufacturing section and then takes the hoppers down to the yard, which is uh, just further down there. I just heard his horn, so I'm pretty sure he's uh, going to be coming across the track any tick. All right, he's crossing the main at the moment. He should be sticking his beak around the corner any tick of the clock now. He should be short forward. Be cool to see him go long forward, actually, but uh, obviously long hood forward's a bit harder for the engineers. Looks like a steam train, though. That's why I reckon long hood forward looks cool. All right, well, he's got a dual cab, actually, on the front, so he can't really can't really go long wood forward with that one, can he? Got the flat nose dual cab. Yeah, we're at Hastings, uh, about 60 kilometres southeast of Melbourne in Victoria, Australia. And there we get a horn salute. We like that. We've got our... Uh, of course, our high vis orange gear on. We're down at the yard. We want to uh, be able to sure, make sure we're seen. He's quite a popular little uh, engine, this uh, dual cab, with a uh, cab at either end. Let's widescreen mode. Small horn salute. Hey mate, <laughs> hey. There we go, G512, the Peter Pan, sticker unit, and the BL5357. Uh, the second part of the lash up. As he uh, wanders straight up the hill there, he doesn't have to stop. It's already got a. Uh, The uh, track's already been changed over there. But uh, just a bit further up the hill he has does have a scotch block, which is a uh, Australian derail. What do we call them here, a scotch block. Why? Don't know. See, some of these coils are huger, sitting in their stillages. We've got some uh, big ones and small ones, we can see. Now this is uh, the first load back since uh, Thursday because there was no train on Friday because it was Australia Day. And I'll go ahead and I'll give a shout out while the train's going past to Sam from Trains of Clearfield. Awesome mate, go and check out his channel. He's got some uh, good trucks, he's also trains and trucks from Clearfield I do believe. He does some uh, good train videos, truck videos, bus videos and is a general all round good guy. So check him out on YouTuber. I'll also leave a Google Map Street View link in the description as to where we are. And yeah, it's got a bit on it. Internal speed limit of 20 kilometres an hour, which is, uh, you know, oh, no, well, let's just say it's about, uh, about 15, 15 miles an hour. Yeah, I'm going with, he's probably got half the yard on him, actually. Good size steel train. All this stuff will go ahead to make Wrigley tin and uh, all sorts of uh, Blue Scope products available worldwide. There we go, there's a couple of, uh, there's a good example of a couple of different size rolls we get here along here. So, small roll and huge roll. Mate, this is actually quite a long uh, seal horse. I'm impressed. Write in the comments if you're impressed as well. Because I'll write in the comments I was impressed. End of train, no hoppers. And a slow... Mm, as he goes past. Up the hill. All 
All right, he's gonna flick them off as I walk and try not to trip over. Up the hill there. Turn his train around and then he will come back and he'll have some of those empty, uh, he'll have some of those coil cars there on with empty stillages and maybe some intermodal and some uh, hoppers on the back heading towards the city, which we're gonna head up towards and uh, film this afternoon. As he looks like he brings it to a stop for the Scotch block. All right, hope you enjoyed that. Have a great evening, day, morning, night, wherever you are. Go ahead and uh, switch the uh, like button onto track one so it heads into the like button station and uh, I'll catch you next one. That'll be special, Agent Fox Mulder, out. <laughs>